Dude, I'm gonna be spending so much time in this game just trying to 100% it. I'm not even sure if I want to 100% this game. Next like mainline Mario is better. Well, we don't even... Like, I'm, I'm quite enjoying my time here. I feel like I'd enjoy a next mainline Mario more. Because I typically just enjoy Mario games more than Zelda. I'm hoping we get a new mainline Mario at some point soon. Because, like, Breath of the Wild came out at the beginning of 2017. Odyssey came back, uh, came out at the end of that year. So if we're getting a, if we have a sequel to Breath of the Wild, we should get a sequel to... Or, like, maybe not a sequel, but maybe just, like, a new game in general for Mario. It's been too long. Like, we don't even have any news of one being in development. For all we know, they could they could just not be working on a Mario game at all right now. I hope they are working on a Mario game. Yeah, Mario fans are having it rough right now. Like, ever since Mario Odyssey, what have Mario fans gotten? Like, shitty sports games. More Mario Kart 8. Luigi's Balloon World, I guess. And that's, like, it. We need more mainline Mario. 3D would be preferred, but... Even if it's 2D, want a Mario with a big map like Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom? Dude, could you imagine a giant open world like this? Like, imagine if, like, Mario Odyssey had all the kingdoms just, like, connected together. It's just one seamless map. That would be crazy. If they could do it with, with Zelda, I'm sure they could do it with Mario if they want. Do you think the next mainline Mario would be, like, Mario Odyssey 2, or would it be something completely original? Honestly, I forgot Bowser's Fury existed. Like, imagine if that was a full game. Imagine if they made full Mario games again. Wouldn't that be cool? Just make it not 3D so I don't have to add it to the 1862. Or I guess 1962. Or if we really want to get crazy, 2405. Then it gave us this so strike that they could cook in the studio. There's de they're definitely cooking something over at Nintendo. The question is, what are they cooking? I don't even think there's been rumors or leaks of any form of Mario content being developed. Which is where I'm really concerned, because... Usually that kind of shit you'd expect to be happening, like, immediately. Yeah, the Mario movie might have been taking some other focus. Can I climb this, please? Switch has been such a big letdown for Mario fans. True. I mean, again, like, all we've gotten is, like, Bowser's Fury and shitty sport titles. And then, like, more Mario Kart. Except it's still not Mario Kart 9. That's all we've gotten since October of 2017. And Mario is, like, their biggest franchise. So you'd expect they'd be putting out more games. Yeah, Odyssey was six years ago. And that's, like, the only big thing they pushed out. Like, in that time, we've gone through, like... How many generations of Pokemon? Like, three? Seven, eight, nine. We've had two. We've had another massive open world game being made. Like Mario Kart 8's like doubled in size in terms of tracks. And there's still not even a hint of anything. Alright, another cutscene. Definitely one way to put it. All right, Zelda. We are alone as you requested. What was it you wanted to discuss with me in private? <laughs> you are far too trusting. What the fuck? <laughs> she just fucked that lady's heart. Do you, you say such a thing? Bro. That is quite out of character for the Zelda I know. But then you are a puppet of Ganondorf. Did you really think we hadn't realized your deceit? <laughs> Bro, you need to... You are way too horny right now. It really is an imposter Zelda, dude. Holy shit.
Okay, she's just fucking dead. Twilight Princess Zelda was peak. Twilight Princess Zelda was pretty cool. I really like Skyward Sword Zelda as well. I think that's peak for me. Dude, look at that face. <laughs> he looks goofy. Yeah, they didn't they didn't really make him look threatening in that cutscene. <laughs> Bro built like the the fucking troll face. Skyward Sword 2. People have been theorizing that like Demise is gonna return in this game. I don't think he is. Or if he or if he does, it's gonna be like the last minute reveal, kinda like how it was in Skyward Sword, where like you go to fight Ganon and then like he turns it demi into demise or something. I don't think it's likely. I'm hopeful that it's that it's a possibility because I think it would be really cool to see Demise return. And they made the they made uh, the Master Sword have sound effects that is a lot like Fi. Well, by a lot like Fi, I mean it is Fi's sound effect from Skyward Sword. What the fuck? What in the fuck? There's a dragon? Smash? No. Dude, it's a three-headed dragon. You can't smash that. I said what I said. Oh. Big spooky guy. Is this not? Whoa. Uh-oh. Why are you doing so much damage? Get, get away from me. Why is it so hot here? I remember, especially in um, Breath of the Wild, there, there was just sh shit where, like, they had a rock on, like, a cliff. Like, they'd have a rock, like, right... They'd have, like, this rock and, like, no other rocks around it. You lift it up, and then it's a Korok. Like, Breath of the Wild just had a lot of Koroks like that, so that's, that's where I'm getting that conditioning from. I like how you could just build a car in this game. Like, people have definitely built way crazier things. But the fact that I can build a car and hold on, meet a tree like this in Ocarina and a not a what game are we talking? About? Breath of the Wild. A tree like that in Breath of the Wild would have had a Korok. I feel like they made the Blood Moon cutscenes more intense in this game. Cause like in Breath of the Wild, it was just like the Blood Moon rises, monsters that were slain in the name of light will be resurrected. You must be careful, Link. Then in this game, they're like. Witness the blood moon rise. Monsters slain return to flesh. The world is no longer safe. Dumbass. Are you well? You seem a bit distracted. I apologize. I keep getting lost in my thoughts, thinking about how I can return home. With your power over time, if I were able to learn that kind of control, I might be one step closer to my era. I see. The secret is to think of it like Drawing out the object's memory. You ask the object where it was, how it arrived where it is now, and then you coax it back to that original moment in time. The object's memory? I'm sure it will become almost like second nature, and you will be able to find your way home. But Zelda, there is more on your mind than just that. You, of course, do want to get back to your time. But you also desperately want to help us out in this era. Am I close to the truth? How did you know? <laughs> I do not believe it is possible to keep anything secret from Sonya. <laughs> oh, your concern is very sweet, Zelda. But listen, you can focus your attention on returning home. 
After all, you possess more than power over time. You have a sacred power that can dispel evil. Both of these powers will help you protect your own era. Queen Sonia! And of course, you must make it home safe to put Link's mind at ease. Link? Uh, that is not a name I have heard. He is a royal knight. He had been originally appointed for my protection. But later, he became a hero by saving both me and Hyrule from a great evil. Oh, a hero is he? He is so very dedicated. And he refuses to back down from any challenge. <sighs> he is very strong. <laughs> and his heart is good and true. I want the fuck Link. Uh, I can see that you have absolute faith in him. Hearing you speak so highly of Link, I find myself wanting to meet him as well. Indeed. I would also like to meet him. He must be quite the brave, courageous knight. What a picture Zelda paints of him. <laughs> <laughs> the shrine is just running people over with cars. Where is the shrine? Dude, Link and Zelda have totally fucked at some point. <laughs> Wish I was Zelda. All I'm saying, Link would not go through this kind of journey. If he didn't get subs in at the end. It's like how Mario gets cake. Whenever he saves the princess. Link's gotta get something as well. <laughs> the words out of my mouth. How long do you think 100% speedruns of this game are gonna be? Because like. We're at like, a, I guess like 15 and a half hours for Breath of the Wild. 30 hours? Minimum. I wouldn't be surprised if it's like that. With this game. It also depends on like what kind of strats are found. Because what's the uh... Hold on, I'm getting my phone for this real quick. I know there is a glitchless 100% category. I want to check what the record is in that. Without DLC, Breath of the Wild 100% without glitches is 26 and a half hours. Wiz DLC, 28 hours. Okay, so if we're looking at 26 and a half hours for Breath of the Wild without glitches, then I'd say maybe if we get some, like, like 30 hours right now, if, like, we had a pretty good route figured out, but we don't have any glitches as far as I'm aware, then probably like 30 hours but if we find some crazy movement techniques or like item duplications like we did with a uh, breath of the wild easily like sub 25 minimum probably even sub 20. like i'd imagine this game has a lot more collectibles that you have to get like more koroks i already know there's like 32 more shrines in this game compared to um, Breath of the Wild. I feel like a main story also feels a bit longer, but it might just be me. So yeah, definitely like a 30 hour run with this strat set as far as I'm aware we do have. I'm not ruling out the possibility that like we already found some crazy movement techniques and I'm just not aware of it. Because I haven't checked any glitch hunting. I haven't checked any speedrun channels in the server. I've just muted the like the entire server outside of the general and off-topic channels for Tears of the Kingdom. I've just muted all of those and I'm not unmuting them until I beat Ganon. Story spoilers are the only thing I'm actually worried about. Like I'm fine with being spoiled about like, oh yeah, there's a thing over here. Every death I do in a video game is just to add to the comedy. You know, if I actually tried, I could do a full 1862 damage loss. Anytime I get hit, or die just comedy allow me to offer you my deepest apologies on behalf of the gerudo for taking so long to accept your repeated invitations it is our desire to be accepted into the protective embrace of your kingdom 
to serve it faithfully. A welcome appeal, Ganondorf. I will accept your vow of fealty to the kingdom of Hyrule. Not a good I idea. I understand that a single male is born to the Gerudo every 100 years. Receiving such an appeal from you, a hero to his people and a king by birth, well, it is truly reassuring. It is my honor. When your Zonai ancestors first descended upon these lands long, long ago, they must have seemed to be gods. And now you rule as king, and have taken a Hyrulean woman as your wife. Hyrulean? Your has certainly risen above your admirable lineage. Most impressive. Hmm. It is unfortunate that the noble Zonai no longer grace this world. With their presence. All except you and your sister, that is. Even if something were to happen to me, both my kingdom and the peace it brings, these will endure for generations to come. <gasps> your actions today are appreciated, Ganondorf. I look forward to your future endeavors. You may leave. Your Majesty. King Roru, I believe that man's heart holds many dark ambitions. Just his name. Even that, it gives me pause. I am well aware of his evil nature. For that reason, and others, I want him close. It will be easier to keep an eye on him. <laughs> there is nothing to worry about. Okay. I'm gonna go to bed, see you walk through. Alright, see ya, Bush. Alright. Memories are done for this session. Visited all 11 geoglyphs and witnessed all the memories in the dragon's tears. I, I guess we're going there instead. Oh my god, this, this shrine really is just vehicular manslaughter. Bush was right. This shrine is vehicular manslaughter, the shrine. All right, final memory. This one's got to be important. They wouldn't save this one for last if it wasn't, like, the most important one. The first one and the last one have to be the most important. We saw Zelda get... Zelda find herself in the new world. This is going to be something else that's incredibly important to the story. So, full attention paying right here. Against my power, 
cannot save you from me. The sword will continue to gain strength if bathed in sacred power. The stronger that power, the more powerful the sword becomes. After all, you possess more than power over time. You have a sacred power that can dispel evil. To swallow a secret stone is to become an immortal dragon, one blessed with eternal life. Minoru, I'm counting on you. Restore the master sword for you. I will care for it until the time comes. I will pour my sacred power into it. It will be the weapon that defeats the Demon King. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. The fuck? Holy shit, that's a lot of silent princesses. Like, I know we just had an emotional moment, but wow, look at all these. You know how much I can do with this? Okay, so what? Zelda is the dragon. That dragon is Zelda. What, what does that mean? Why? How are we... Like, we're, we're gonna have to make her undragonified. 
But how? You know how if you shoot a dragon in Breath of the Wild, you get a scale? Or like some part of it? So even on that Zelda, you know, we can still shoot it. Light dragon scale. Can I ride this? Why, yes I can. It's right here. Uh oh. Yeah, so those are definitely re-deads. That's like the report, hmm? What? A foe? Did he come here to escape the sand trout? We've reached your entrance to the Gerudo shelter. I cannot allow any foe to pass through this door. Oh, oh you never heard that word? Vo means maddening, Gerudo. It's a custom, more really, really more of a law that we Gerudo follow. Young Gerudo are generally not allowed to interact with Vo. Mm -hmm. What's oh. going on? A Vo wandered in here. Oh. What? Did you say Vo? Ah. There's nothing to worry about. The Vo is very short and can't even reach the peepholes in the door. She just fucking called me short. He's out of sight, and even on his tiptoes, he won't be able to see in. Uh. Normally, Vo, Vo aren't allowed to even set foot within the walls of Gerudo Town, but this is a unique situation. Oh. So as long as you keep out of the shelter, I'll overlook your presence in town. If you're looking for some place to get out of the sand shroud, you can rest in one of the houses on the surface. Ah. Oh. No. Oh. oh, shit. Okay, it's not that easy. Let's leave it once. Hold on. What? It's been some time, swordsman. It's all right. This one has the chief's permission to enter, and he is welcome to visit any of the shops and businesses. Oh, okay. So, we're all good. Spread the word. Let everyone know this is the case. Oh. For you to come all this way, and during the strange storm that plagues us, you must have some important news to share. Mm -hmm. The princess of Hyrule is still missing. We've heard of the events at Hyrule Castle, but this... Things are dire indeed. Still, swordsman. I mean, Link. I'm impressed you made it here through the storm that surrounds Gerudo Castle, or Gerudo Town. The sand shroud settled on us some time ago. We sent out patrols to try to determine what the cause, what was causing it, but a swarm of monsters, creatures called Gibdos. Oh, they're not Redux, they're Gibdos. Fuck. Suddenly appeared, attacked our troops, and forced us to retreat. The Gibdos had even made their way into the town. As a result, everyone was evacuated to this shelter for their safety. As someone charged with protecting Gerudo Town, I am ashamed at our current situation. This is all to say that, although I wish I could not, I could help you search for the princess, now is not a good time. I'm sorry. Mm. Lady Rihu is currently training. She is trying to become strong enough to save us from this disaster. If you are hoping to speak with Lady Rihu, you should visit the ruins to the north. things. I didn't expect to see you here. But then, you always show up in unusual times. True. Link doesn't do shit unless the world's in danger. Oh. The Hyrule Castle rose up into the sky. Zelda vanished right in front of you, and I've come here looking for clues. 
Link, I understand how you're feeling. Zelda is a dear friend to me as well. I will do everything in my power to help you. But to do that, I need to bring a quick resolution to a problem we could really are facing. I'm sure you've noticed that the desert is even more difficult to cross than usual. That's thanks to this unusual sand shroud. It appeared around the same time the events at Hyrule Castle took place. It has blanketed the whole desert, including our town. Not long after that, swarms of monsters we've never seen before began attacking. We're calling them Gibdos. Physical attacks don't work well against them. They're slow, but they still make investigating the, sh the sand shroud difficult. Were you watching just now? I'm practicing striking that dummy over there with lightning. If I can aim the lightning well, it's like it may be an effective weapon against the Gibdos. Except you're fucking terrible at this. But this technique is unrefined. I only recently discovered it and still need more practice. I want to master this technique so I can use it to defeat the Gibdos. If I can do that, we can then investigate the source of the Sand Shroud in the search for Zelda as well. Will you help me with my training? I think I can use your arrows to, to help me aim my lightning strikes. Fire one at that dummy over there. Ha, huh, there we go. Now let's try something a little trickier. Hmm. And for those dummies over there, maybe we couldn't hit them with a single lightning strike. Don't try to hit a specific dummy. Aim for an area in the middle of all three, like right around where that rock is ju jutting out. Keep in mind that the farther away a target is from me, the longer it will take me to build up the energy to hit it. Like... That. <laughs> yes! Getting the hang of it now. Kid, those don't stand a chance against his power. Oh. Can't thank you enough for your, for your help, Link. Oh, time to go on the quest for the dungeon. Oh. What? What's that? Mm. Didn't sound like any noise a sand shroud has made, that's for sure. You heard that too, right? It was... Chief! Well, what are you doing here? We received word that a swarm of Gyptos are attacking Kara Kara Bazaar. Bliara is already on her way there. She's already... Okay, understood. Thank you. Link, we need to head to Kara Kara Bazaar at once. Must ask for your help once again. My lightning and your guiding arrows make us a formidable pair. Do you remember Kara Kara Bazaar? It's the oasis northeast of Gerudo Town. Let's show those Gyptos what we're made of. Don't let any more get Gibdos get close. If help doesn't arrive soon. So I think we just need to like aim our arrows at them, right? Sorry to keep everyone waiting, but I'm here now. We're gonna wipe all the Gibdos out at once. Follow me. Link, don't let me down. Monsters stand no chance. Forty fuse attack power. Okay, I need to actually be collecting these. What? Definitely are doing stuff. It's gonna be coming from there. Yeah, they really are just zombies. Let's try that somehow. Otherwise, they'll overwhelm us. That was easy. Bulyara, well done holding the line until we were able to get here. Now that we know the Gibdos are susceptible to lightning, this gives us a major advantage. Huh. Is that Zelda?
real bad. Gerudo Town is in danger. Zelda, wait! It's the imposter, Zelda. She was heading directly toward those tornadoes. And if more Gibdos are hiding in the storm. Yara, we need to get back now. <laughs> Link, we're going on ahead. I'll meet you in town. Oh, they got another shroom. It's a Gibdo hive, just like that one that appeared near the Karakarpa's arm. Both the hive and those tornadoes were reported to have shown up at the same time, too. Not, not the one hive. There are three to deal with, each just outside the town gates. I don't need a clairvoyant sand sail to know a massive Gibdo attack is coming. Oh. I know this hives are durable and nearly Im impervious to attack. When they open and begin releasing Gibdos, they're vulnerable. What? Okay, give me a minute. Yeah. I know. Gibdos won't wait outside our walls forever. So when they launch their attack, that's a chance to strike. Gonna need to eat dinner, so once this cutscene's over, I'm gonna take a break to eat dinner. Come. Okay, I'll well final done. come. Uh. You heard it again, didn't you? Come. Is it calling out to us? Mm -hmm. Are you, you, Link? Something the matter? I thought mm. it's nothing. Link, for now, we, we should focus on protecting Gerudo Town from the enemies at our gates. We must prepare for battle. The Sand Shroud. The sudden appearance of the Gyptos in their hives. Strange events keep happening, one after another. And we saw Zelda near Karakara Bazaar. But it hasn't been seen anywhere around Gerudo Town. There's something bigger going on. But for now, we need to focus on the problem at hand and prepare to fight. Link, I need your help again. Speak with Bulliara and his soldiers and help us organize our defenses. Do you have questions about praying? What's the plan? Oh. Talk to Captain Teak in the yard. Work with her to decide how best to deploy our forces. Oh. Pod is in the courtyard. She's in charge of the materials we have on hand. We could re reinforce our defenses with them. If you need anything, you should talk to her. Oh. Any questions about preparing for battle? Hives of monsters have appeared outside the town walls. It will be long before we will need to deal with this threat. How shall we deploy our forces? Who shall we send and where? Spread them out to lightly cover all the gates? Or maybe a concentrated force to protect a weakened position? Oh. And decide who to send where? We actually have to do fucking battle tactics? What the fuck? I don't know what to do with these guys. I'm just gonna hope this doesn't actually matter because I have no idea how to strategize. Preparations are complete. Situation report. Large number of Gyptos are moving to attack the town. Before anything else, we need to deal with this. Well, they are. They have the town surrounded. Stay strong. Third is also an opportunity. Fight well, and we can wipe them out in one battle. Hives and all. Prepare yourself for battle. Let's show them the true power of the Gerudo. Protect our chief. Protect our town. What the fuck? They zooming! <laughs> You've been sitting here for a while, like literally not a single Gibdo has come by. It's so, like, I'm gonna just check. It might be possible that they just got stuck. Okay, now it's over. Like, I am incredibly grateful for your help in the battle. On behalf of all the Grudo. Thank you. I suspect the Gipto threat will calm down a bit m now that we've wiped out the hives that were surrounding the town. Mm. Listen, the hives crumbled into sand when we destroyed them. I wonder if the Gyptos have some kind of connection to the sand. Or maybe. Maybe they're connected to the sand shroud. Did they make it? Did it summon them? Hmm. 
Then there's this voice that you and I both heard. A voice in lightning. This reminds me of something. Link, there's something you should see. Come down to the mural of the underground shelter. Oh, Link, you came. Look at the mural on this wall. It is thought to have been painted by ancestors of the Gerudo. It appears that when they created it, they were also using this shelter to hide. Perhaps the Gerudo of the distant past were also bes beset by some great disaster. Anyway, the writing on the mural says, Stand back to back with the throne. Witness red pillars across the vast sea. Unite the pillars in light to reveal the lightning stone and open the way. You who can hear my voice, come to me. I await you. And my story's voice that spoke to us. This word reminded me of this mural. This image must represent a location of some kind. And the engraved words are a riddle to discovering its location. It's, only ex it's the only explanation that makes sense. Okay, back to back. With the throne. The throne's right there. Back to back with it. Here we get a better view of everything. Oh. Oh, it just had to take a bit for some reason. Why did it have to take a bit? Zelda! Yo! Definitely not imposter, Zelda. Link! Did you see that, Link? It's Zelda! What? She's gone! I wonder what happened to Zelda? I saw the lights of the red pillars and hurried here as quickly as I could. Not be a coincidence that we've seen someone who looks like Zelda twice, but a mysterious, oh. but a mystery for another time. Solve the mi Miro's riddle and call, cause us to appear. If I remember correctly, Miro said, "Unite the pillars in light to reveal the lightning stone and open the way." Oh. Maybe my lightning, maybe my lightning strike is the key. Okay, I hope the game it gives me a lot of arrows, cause I'm at the point now where 40 arrows feels dangerously low. Meanwhile, in Breath of the Wild, I'd be lucky to have like 10 at a time. That's Yer's temple. Well, like a lightning temple. Something like that. All right, who's ready for another dungeon? The Lightning Temple. Look at that, okay. Ew! Ew, get that thing away from me, what the fuck? Queen Gibdo. Attacks, you mean like like all attacks like I could just smack this motherfucker with this what 
Okay, this does a lot of damage. We don't have any kind of like sand boots, so we can't run that fast. Fuck's that? You better look after yourself. Link's jump is terrible in this game, okay? What? The tornadoes actually do damage instead of blowing you away? Oh, this fight's difficult, man. What the fuck? Oh, I hate that it actually does damage. I'd rather just blow you away. Can we do extra damage by shooting it like this? That must have done a lot of damage. Okay, then it's gonna be much easier if we just do that. Rather than trying to get up close. Hmm. It flew up toward the roof. Maybe there's something to get up at after it inside the structure. Come on, Link. Let's look in for a way in. I have no idea what I was just passing These up. Flames make it impossible to go further. Hmm. Okay, it's really not that difficult to time that. Fireballs now. Looks like we're stuck again. All right, pretty easy stuff. Power? Wait, no, I'm stupid. Finally, we actually reached the main dungeon part. <laughs> hey, the floor started to rise. It's falling back down. Yeah, I felt it. I'm on the same platform. Daughter, daughter of the Garuda. This platform connects to the very top of this temple. Use your power to charge the four battles, and it will function once more. Oh hey, boy, seven floors. I heard the voice very clearly just now. It's calling to me. He said I should use my power to charge the four batteries. Mm. The monster we fought outside earlier fled to the top of this temple. The voice that had been speaking to us said the platforms should be able to take us all the way to the, all the way up there. If that's true, we could corner the monster at the top. We might also figure out who is talking to us and why. Yeah. Okay, Link. We need to get to the very top. To start, we should do with what that mysterious voice suggested and try to find those four battery devices. Okay, that's one. Like, the amount of programming and testing that had to have gone into, like, freaking everything in this game is just absurd. Okay, there we go. There. Oh yeah, this is easy. That will work. Like that. Okay. I'm just really bad at light puzzles. Oh. I guess that's just it. Okay, I see the issue. That's the issue, but it's solved now. And there we go, that's all of the locks. My eyes hurt. I've been staring at a screen playing Tears of the Kingdom for far too long this weekend the past four days 
past four days, I've literally been doing like the eat, sleep, game, repeat shit. If this is struck. Whoa, it's the Queen Gipto. Oh my god, how could this have possibly been predicted? Let's go. We'll finish it off here and now. I didn't realize it was attacking. Watch for the You're the one who should be watching for the tornado right now. This fight shouldn't be too... I was about to say this fight shouldn't be too difficult, and then... That happened. What's with lightning bosses in Breath of the Wild style games and being, like, difficult? We don't need to heal. That was close. Let's see. Yeah. Summoning more Gyptos. Don't let them surround you. I'll try to fucking not, but I mean, it's kinda hard when I got so much shit going on. Oh, it's like a safe zone. I fucking couldn't get out of the way in time. Because I was in an attack animation. Queen Gibdo is actually difficult. Good. What? I didn't see the boss! I didn't see the boss! And see the queen. Shit. It's right there. Alright. No! Oh, it was right like there. Oh my god. I say. What? That it's an instant kill? Oh, I thought I could survive a hit if I had, like, max HP. But I was, like, a quarter of a heart away. Maybe it was, like, reducing me to a quarter of a heart, usually. Oh. That's why... You can only survive... I can only survive if I'm at max health. Like, literally. Max. What? It's changing directions. Yes! Yes! Oh my god. Fuck it. That took way too long. Yes! Oh, that's, a, that's what I'm talking about. Ah, that's good stuff. I love hard boss fights like that, where like... It's difficult, but you f it just feels fair. It doesn't feel absurdly difficult, it doesn't feel unfair. Everything's in your control, you just have to play well. And then the, re the payoff for finishing a fight like that is just incredible. That fight did it. Did difficulty really well. I'd say.
Riju. Beloved it is Riju, okay. Garuda. I know that voice. You're the one who's been talking all this time. Yes, your ancestor from a time long past. I was a Garuda warrior who served the first king of Hyrule and a sage who called down lightning, just as you can. I've seen you brandish the power you have in defense of our people. I would expect nothing less from my descendant. You are the pride of the Garuda. The Demon King is responsible for sending the monster that caused the Sand Shroud. But the monster's true purpose was to prevent you from obtaining that stone. My secret stone. Demon King? Secret stone? All these cutscenes are the same. Don't worry. You will Every single one of these cutscenes is exactly the same. It's, you are my descendant. I served the first king and the fight to, against the Demon King with my secret stone. Demon King? Secret stone? Oh, let me tell you. Uh, we and five other sages, we fought against the Demon King with the king. And then uh, we lost. And then the, the dude did it something. A great evil, the Demon King, emerged. He attacked the innocent and sought the destruction of Hyrule. He was our chief before he changed. His obsession with power transformed him into a monster. Raru, the first king of Hyrule, and six warriors rose to oppose him. I'm proud to have been one of them. We face the Demon King. But only after Raru gave us the secret stones. Artifacts that amplified the abilities of those who carried them. I, the Sage of Lightning, fought by my fellow sages in battle with my own secret stone. But we were no match for his overwhelming power. He endured our strongest attacks. Even the lightning strikes I called down. King Raru knew we had lost the battle against the Demon King. He made the ultimate sacrifice to imprison the Demon King, to seal him away. Dude, Raru is absolutely furry bait. That was the imprisoning war. Some time later. Another of the six sages, the Sage of Time, came to visit me, and she set the Gerudo on our destined path. The magic restraining the Demon King will eventually be undone. When that time comes, you must help Link. He is a noble swordsman who will fight that monster. So please. He will need your assistance. Lend him your power. The Gerudo's control of lightning. The path of the Gerudo was clear at that moment. We wish nothing more than to eliminate the Demon King. We are responsible for his very existence in this world. And for that, we must make amends. I swear to you that when the Demon King returns, the Gerudo Sage of Lightning will awaken once more. The Gerudo Sage and her people will fight alongside your swordsmen. And now I have told you all I can of the Imprisoning War and of our people's destiny. You have saved Gerudo Town. But the Demon King still remains a threat. Riju, daughter of the Gerudo. You must take up my secret stone and honor the vow I made to the Sage of Time long ago. Fight alongside the swordsman, Link. So it's my destiny to fight by your side. <laughs> my 
Destiny as a sage, my duties as chief, and fighting side by side with you? <laughs> Sounds like fun. I will gladly strike down the so-called demon king. I guess it's time to claim my destiny! That's all the the, 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 that's all the sages, woo! <laughs> how many, how many hours have I already put in this game? Like, it's over 20, it's over 20 by now, right? Like six to eight hour days, four days in a row. Link, give me your hand. I'm thinking about if I want to jump immediately into speedruns for this game. Like, I'm sure, like part of why I rushed through the story so much was just so I can like, get the story out of the way so I could explore the world while I learn about the speedrun and see because that's that's one of the big things for me when a new Zelda game comes out now like it's kind of weird saying now because this is the first time a new Zelda game came out since I became a fan of the series and since then I became a 3d Zelda runner so whenever a new 3d Zelda comes out I have to learn to speedrun I have to see what it's all about it's just kind of my thing now I guess so, like, part of why I kind of wanted to rush through the story in the end here was just to get it done so I can, um, so I can start speedruns, so I can explore the world on my own, sometimes on stream, maybe. Uh, also, so we get back to Pokemon Crystal, because I ha have some stuff working on that game. Like, I have some YouTube videos relying on that. <laughs> it seems I can finally repay you. Okay, should we head back to town? I think after I finish this game, though, I just want to take a break from, like, this game overall. Like, eight hours? I am not used to playing a game, one game, eight hours a day, for this long period of time. Plus, I kind of want to see, like, what the speedrun stuff is before I just immediately jump into it. See if I want to put it off yet. See if I want to put it off a bit more or if I want to go right into it. Because we still have Majora's Mask. I've still been learning Majora's Mask. I had to take a break when this game came out because I just haven't had the time. Literally every moment I could, I've been playing this game. Ah, Link. I'm grateful for you to be able to help me save the Gerudo. I've received reports that ever since the Sand Shroud dissip dissipated, Gipto attacks have almost entirely stopped. Oh. No doubt it takes some time to rebuild, but it's thanks to you help thanks to your help that we can live on the surface again. On behalf of all the Gerudo people, thank you. Sorry to say, though, that despite the safety of Gerudo Town no longer being a pressing concern, we still haven't been able to uncover any information on the whereabouts of Princess Zelda. Mm. Actually, Bulliaria, I do have a small piece of information regarding Zelda. I experienced a vision when I took the secret stone in my hand. The person that my ancestor referred to as the Sage of Time looked identical to Zelda. Someone who just happens to look like Zelda, that doesn't explain everything that's been going on. But it's impossible to deny that someone resembling Zelda has been spotted across Hyrule, and that terrible events follow her. The Zelda we know and the Zelda we saw in the vision of the distant past are incredibly similar. Mm. If the Zelda in the past is our Zelda, then who is this other person? We must un uncover her true identity. Mm. Sorry, Link. Although the threat of the Sand Shroud and the Gyptos has passed, 
I cannot leave Gerota Town at the moment. Things need some time to settle. However, we will take on the task of searching this area for any signs of Zelda. Hmm. With my newfound power as a sage, I'll still be able to support you. I swear that I will do anything I can to help. Okay! Oh. Link, you said you had already visited Rito Village, Goron City, and Zora's Domain. I'm sure a lookout landing will, would value any information you could share. Why not go there and see if you can help? I hope your travels bring you back here again, Link. I look forward to such a reunion. Now get out of here, you're a Vo. I imagine we're nearing the end of the main story.